Stuart Taft here for Event TV and a very exciting night for Australian film because of course it's the world premiere of Tomorrow When the War Began, a very famous book by Australian author John Mars and there's a buzz in the cinema tonight. As you can see behind me the celebrities are starting to appear. Let's see who turned out for tonight's event. Conrad Colby, you do it all on Sea Patrol. You must be yeah, excited. It's massive. It's really good to see uh, Australia have a hit at a, at a real blockbuster. And we want to see more of it. No, it's very exciting. I really can't wait. So I read the books as well. What's it like living with Lincoln Lewis? Um, he has his shirt off a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis Hasty, the very lucky winner of the Optus competition. Who are the celebrities that you are keeping your eye out for tonight on the red carpet? I reckon whoever plays the main character, Ellie, I reckon I'll be saying hello to her tonight. Caitlin Stacey, she might get a little bit of a kiss on the cheek from young Lewis. Whoa, okay. <laughs> CJ, what do you think the movie's going to be like in two words? Awesome. <laughs> My young friend Andy Ryan's in it, so I just gave him a big hug on the red carpet and I'm, I'm pumped about seeing his head the size of a bus. <laughs> now Stuart, I hope you know that the weight of the Australia is on your shoulders, because of course this is a very famous Australian book and a lot of people oh, have in their mind how the movie would look, so yep. that's a bit of pressure. That's a lot of pressure, yeah, no, I, and I feel it. You know, um, but John Marston's really happy with it. So I'm hoping that if he's happy, then the fans will be happy. And this is something that your son, Matthew, who's also a producer, has been begging you to make for years. Is that right? I thought about it, looked at it, and I loved it. So I tried to get it, and eventually, eight years later, here we are. Now, John Marsden, one of Australia's greatest authors. When you sat down over 20 years ago and wrote this book, did you imagine this would be happening? No, no, I'm sitting at my kitchen table in a little bush hut, and it's very quiet. And I'm writing the books day after day, month after month. And now suddenly all this, you know, it's crazy. But it must be kind of exciting. Oh, it's wild, I love it. I think I'll write another book. I'll go home right now. The accent, that was a tricky thing, I believe. It was, but um, and I hope it sort of sounds all right. I just picked up a bunch of phrases from this lot, you know. I didn't know what sculling was before I got here. I didn't know what it meant to be cut, or that kind of, you know. If someone says, are you cut? I thought, well, no, I'm, I'm not at all. <laughs> Now there's a little rumour going around that someone very special sent you a letter before this movie that kind of got you a bit revved up and excited, is that yeah. right? Well, uh, yeah, my acting hero is Russell Crowe um, and I uh, always spoke to Stuart about how much I love his work and he organised for a letter to arrive to me on the day I filmed my big monologue. Has he got sloppy handwriting? No, he's very neat, he's a very articulate man, yep. you know. Um, I thought it was a script when I read it, <laughs> you know, it was amazing. Everyone's really looking forward to seeing the movie. Are you excited about that, that Australia and the world's going to embrace this movie? Oh, I hope they will. I mean, the books were amazing, so hopefully the film does it justice. I mean, your character is obviously a very goody two-shoes kind of character. Yeah. Was it an interesting one to play? Oh, wonderful. I mean, um, beside the fact that I'm completely in awe of her and her strength and her conviction. Your character actually goes through probably the biggest change of any of the characters she in the movie. Does. What was that like? Um, it was really interesting. I mean, it was a really cool arc to play. I mean, she starts off being so posh and kind of sheltered and she ends up blowing up a bridge. He's the man everyone wants to see at the premiere, of course. The leading man, it's Lincoln Andy Lewis. Ryan. Lincoln Lewis, how are you, my Good friend? Good man, how are you doing? Everything I've seen of you behind the scenes, you're smiling the whole time because you get to ride bikes, you get to be involved in explosions. Is that fair to say it's a young boy's dream? It is. It's a boy's dream to work on. Exactly right, dude. It's it's crazy, you know. And and obviously, you know, we got such a ridiculously unattractive female cast to work with as well. So that makes it really hard. It must have been awful spending so much time with those well, girls. Someone's got to do it, you know. Well, this must be a very exciting time for you on the red carpet of a blockbuster premiere. You got the few butterflies in the. Oh, I can't it? expect. I'm so nervous. So unbearably nervous. And one thing that's very special is there there aren't many female heroines out there, the lead characters. That must be exciting to play that. It is exciting because every time you see a war epic or an action epic, the protagonist is always a male. I to ask you something very quickly. Mm -hmm. We've got a winner of an Optus competition over here, young Lewis, and he said he would die if he got just one kiss on the cheek from Caitlin Stacey. Do you think we can deliver? Of course! Lewis, come over here. Ready? So fair to say a very exciting event indeed, the celebrities out in force and the stars of the movie giving us a sneak peek of what to expect in the movie and tomorrow when the war began it's going to be very exciting indeed. You guys at home can check it out in cinemas September 2nd. But for Event TV, I'm Shura Taft, I'm getting out of here.